everyone so today we are doing a very exciting video in this video we are going to be trying a very pricey hair curler i'm very excited um as you guys can see i have my hair covered right now because it is wet i have it in this toque this is very high up toque i got some weird looks today because i've literally been actually out and about like this because i have my bun like that oh my goodness you can't see that yet cannot see but anyway yeah so i washed my hair this morning because this specific hair curler is supposed to start with damp hair now i feel a little defeated already before we've even begun because i thought this hair curler was no joke brand new like i thought i was like one of the first who would review it and it turns out that it came out like years ago years ago and <laughs> i thought it was brand new and that hair product being the dyson air wrap complete now let me just tell you guys first of all there are a lot of people that are being sent dyson products and like maybe sponsored by dyson right now but i have not been sponsored by them sadly i did have to purchase this with my own money i'm a huge fan of dyson products i have their vacuum and everything um so it wasn't out of the ordinary for me to want something from dyson but sadly they did not know that I wanted this. <laughs> okay, I can't even fake be upset about it. Yeah, I got this. This was around $6.99 Canadian. Wow, the most expensive hair product I've ever been interested in. And the most expensive hair product I've actually ever seen as well. Now this one I give a little bit of credit because it has so many attachments. So on here it actually says like what each attachment is for. It's got like a little diagram. So as you can see you have like voluminous, 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 voluminous voluminous curly waves is the 30 millimeter loose curls 40 millimeter straightener styler with less frizz smooth straight style and adds volumes adds shape and then it also has a connection um just for like a hair dryer add-on so like this isn't just like one hair curler. It could be really good for like space as well because all of those hairstyles can be achieved through one tool. So obviously I was intrigued. I also was intrigued thinking it was brand new because it was the first time I'd ever seen it, but it's not brand new. It's like far from brand new. So I'm sorry that I'm bringing you guys reviews like on three year old products, but I don't know. Did you expect anything different from me? Like I'm always late to the party, so. Hopefully you guys are still down to party with me because I am ready to party with you and this Dyson. So you may be wondering why my hair is actually damp. It's actually wet right now, but why it will be damp. And that is because this is actually supposed to be a styling tool that styles your hair via air. It's the air wrap. That's what it's supposed to use. I don't know if it also has heat or if it just does it with air. We're going to figure it out. I guess I suppose I could read. Very curious to see how it works. Honestly, I'm at the point right now where I just don't do anything to my hair. So if this is like good, easy, I feel like it's good on my hair. I could see myself using this a lot. And that's kind of why I was able to splurge on it, not only because I thought that it would be a cool video, but I was intrigued by it genuinely. So let's open it up. Inside so far, there is like a little brown case. Ooh, okay, so it comes in this big, I said little before, but it's kind of big actually, but it's holding a lot in there. It's got little lettering that says Dyson on it. Very cute, I like how there's like something to hold it. I feel like if there's something I can put it in, there's less of a chance that I'll lose it. So, okay. Ba -ba -da -ba. Some info about it, which I will look at once we get started. All right, so I have all of the pieces. There is the, this is so nostalgic for me because my mom used to have like a hair curling tool like this. And every morning before school, when I'd go into a room, she was using this. And I remember the first time I ever used it on my hair, it knotted it, it tangled it, it messed it up. Okay, and then, <laughs> anyways. Then we have the two like straightening brushes. I don't completely understand the difference between these two just because they are so similar, but I'm sure I'll understand. And then we have all the different curling tops. So like you can see the size difference. 
and the same little top the actual hair dryer specifically is more circular so this is more of like a smaller one really freaking cool not gonna lie i'm like super excited about it and like this is heavy duty whoa so it explains the buttons on the front the airflow control is right here so there's three levels and then temperature control there is a cold a hot medium cold power on switch all that jazz let's not talk about it anymore let's get started so my hair feels pretty wet right now so i'm trying to figure out how wet should my hair be should it just be damp should it be like the way it is right now i feel like it's a little bit too wet to be honest so i'm just going to take the hair dryer attachment for starters and clip it in let's see all right, so I'm already doing something wrong. Okay, what? So there's gonna be no sound for a second here because I'm gonna be using this, but I'm just gonna dry my hair a little bit. So far, like the intensity. Wow, okay, this is ridiculous so far, you guys. I don't want to be like the biggest fan ever because I know I just started with it, but holy this little mama sprays out a lot of air like this is crazy way more air is flying out of this thing than any of my other hair dryers like this is a strong blow. <laughs> Whoa. Like as I was drying my hair, I was worried that because it's so strong, I was going to dry my hair too much. And also like this attachment is so light. Usually my arms do get tired, but with this, it's like my arm is not gonna get tired. Like this is so light, yet not so light that it feels like it's like inexpensive. It's just like really like, I don't wanna say aerodynamic because I know that's not it, but so far very impressed and it's only the first attachment based on the box i feel like i want to see the most intense curls it can make so i think we should use the 30 millimeter wrap which is the smallest like is this gonna heat up right there is that gonna get hot i'm not sure okay i'm gonna take a small piece of hair just to test it because i really truly have not seen any reviews i've not really studied up on it like this is a complete no nothing watching this or trying this, <laughs> trying this, sorry. Guys, I just had like a serious come to moment. I've just realized that like, one is for like this side of your head, cause that's the way you wrap around your hair. You can see it has like these little arrows on it. And then the other one is for the other way. So you do the swap. So I am using like the wrong head. I hope this is helpful for you guys. I feel like I'm just like making every mistake possible. Let's try this again. <gasps> what? what? Oh my gosh, look at that curl. Excuse me, Dyson, CEO of Dyson. I'm impressed. <laughs> when a product does what it's supposed to do and you're just like flabbergasted about it hardly any heat is coming off of this thing like i don't feel like my hair would be damaged after using this and look how cute that curl is omg okay i'm gonna try another piece and then i'm gonna try the other heads as well because i don't want to just use one okay what i learned from that their curl is that my hair is definitely too wet right now because like the first two times i wrapped it around i felt like i was just doing the process of drying it and then once it was like literally on the brink of being dry that's when it actually could get this curl so your hair does have to be pretty dry now just out of curiosity i'm gonna go on my phone and search up dyson's commercial or not commercial or yeah i guess commercial and just see and make sure i'm doing it right because right now i'm wrapping it around so I'm interested to see if that's what you're supposed to do. Dyson era. Okay, interesting. It looked like a lot of people were just like holding it on and letting the air wrap, like letting it grab your hair. Interesting, okay. Okay, we can try that. I felt like like my little curling technique and then just letting it off like a normal curling wand, I felt like that was doing well. 
but we will see what it can do. I feel like I'm starting over now. I'm gonna grab this piece again, because I just like brushed it out. Now there's no curl in it anymore. My hair has a really difficult time keeping a curl, just so everybody knows. I'm gonna try and let the curling wand grab my hair. I find this hard to believe, to be honest. Maybe because my hair is like long, this won't work. Uh, maybe with shorter hair you'd have better luck, but we can give it a try. I'm an idiot. <laughs> the day I like actually realize how to use this thing is the day it will break, so let's do this. Okay, I don't know if grabbing it itself really does it, to be honest. I think like wrapping it around like a normal curling wand is the way to go. Okay, so let me just try that one last time to see. I'm gonna put it on the highest intensity and hope that it just grabs my hair. Okay, it did a pretty good job grabbing that. Oh my gosh, these curls are so cute too. Wow. I think we should try a different connector because I think that we've debunked that this one does work. It can grab it, but honestly, time-wise, I feel like it's just as easy to just wrap it around. I suppose if you're like watching TV and you just don't want to focus, you could just like help it along and let it grab it the hair itself but for me personally i feel like i don't mind just wrapping it around like the real pro of this is like there's like hardly any heat being used on it so let's try the bigger curling wand so this is supposed to give like looser curls um and bigger bouncier curls so let's grab a piece Hmm, my hair feels a little bit warm, but like nothing close to when I use a normal curling wand. And there we have that curl. Yeah, it's a little bit just like wider, less tight than the other ones. Both these curling wands seem like really fun to use. Plus there's something about like blow drying your hair and having like the heat on you. I just love that because I'm always cold. So being able to curl my hair with like what I would consider a blow dryer Pretty fun. If there's one thing I love in hair, it's volume and shape. And that's what this is supposed to be able to really give you. Now, every time I've ever used something like this, my hair gets super tangled, super knotted. So let's see if we can even tell the difference between these ones. Okay, so this is what always happens. I always like wrap it around too much and then it gets caught in there. That one I feel like you won't really be able to tell what it did unless I did my whole head with this one, to be honest. Like, I don't think this is one that you'd be able to tell a huge difference because like I can tell like as I'm brushing through it is like giving it some volume here. So I think it would do more for volume than like one of these straightening ones. So maybe I'll do one side by side. This is too bad because now I'm like, oh, I should probably do like a full head of hair with each one so we can really see. But I'm just gonna try them all out just to see. Wow, so straight. Like if you need to dry, this is really revolutionary in the sense of like, oh, I need to dry my hair. I'll dry my hair and then straighten it. It's like, no, you can do both at once. Like that was so easy and like, it's so straight and so smooth. Like it doesn't really give any like frizziness to it. I'm so impressed, but I don't know which top I should do my whole head in. Like I'm feeling like curling it all because I wanna see what it looks like, but I don't know. <laughs> all right, I am going to go ahead and just spend a little bit of time doing my whole head of hair, really getting used to this, and then hopefully I will have a better idea of what I think of it. All right, you guys, I'm done using the curling wand now, the curls aren't super tight, and I feel like my hair 
can honestly never really keep a curl that well. Like for instance, these are like voluminous tight curls on the box, but for me, they're definitely more wavy, which is honestly just what I get. My hair's really thick, very heavy, and it's very long. So it, this is usually the type of curl that I can achieve. And to be able to achieve this without like any crazy heat, like I can't believe it, you guys. Like this was, uh, I don't wanna see him like, so I'm crazy excited, but like, I'm super excited to have this product. I'm feeling really good about it. And you know, near the end, I really got the hang of using it. So I would turn it on and then I'd wrap it around and then I just lit that armrest and I'd pull it back in and out, in and out to make it dry the root. And I feel like doing that really made my hair have a little bit more volume because this part usually lays so flat, but like it feels like it's got a lot more body right now. My camera can't even focus because I'm a new woman. Again, the one downfall is it is very expensive. I could see how some people would find this difficult to use if they're trying to get it to just suck up the hair. I feel like it's a lot easier to just wrap it around and then let go. And the amazing thing about it is like you can fully just like touch this and it's like, it's not gonna burn you, like it might be hot, but it's never gonna be like burning you hot, which I really like because honestly using hot tools is so scary. So using this, I was able to just grab the hair and like pull it off. Granted, I did have it on the medium heat, not all the way hot, all the way hot might be a little bit too hot to touch. If you have the excitement over it like I do and the funds to be able to purchase it, I definitely would suggest it to anybody who is interested in it. I feel like there's some major perks to not have to use like two styling products like drying and curling, like it's all in one. And also this kit, it has like tools for like every hairstyle you would want to achieve, which I really like. Like I'm excited to try straightening my whole head from wet to see how long it takes because already when I was taking my hair from wet to damp, this like did it so quickly, like literally two minutes. And usually my hair takes for sure a good like 30, 40 minutes to dry. So it's a very powerful tool. Oh, and there's two year warranty on it, which I do like because if you were to drop it or something and it breaks, like you do not want a $600, $700 curler or a heat tool, <laughs> hair tool to break on you, no way. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, even though this product is not new, even though I thought it was new, it's new to me. I think it's kind of a new concept. I haven't seen any like competitors coming out with something similar to this. So I'm really happy to have it. I'm excited to have it. If you guys wanna see anything more in depth, like doing my whole head of hair with different each different tool to see the differences, I would totally be down to do that. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If there's any other products you'd like to see me review, make sure to let me know in the comments and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!